we have byte track so OC sort is like very basic it just predicts the next positions where the object could be and based on that it will make the association we have byte track which is slightly more advanced because it also when we lose the detection of the person I mean like we, we lose it because we have a very low confidence so the score goes below 25% what we're showing but byte track will take into consideration also the low scores when we put the low scores and based on that we'll keep track of the object so let's now try bad track on this scenario right here we see now id5 it's always id5 then we have 12 15 while at the same time we have many other you see that it's less sensitive of course that depends also on the tuning of the different parameters now it takes longer to activate the tracking with oc sort we saw that after a, after a while we had like 920 id here it takes much longer to give the association but of course it's not working well. we will try now os strong sort strong sort is much more advanced because it will make also deep learning associations that's why it's so much more reliable you might be wondering okay if this is so good why don't we use just this one strong sort all the time because there are problems of course with speed versus accuracy now, now before we end this video let me tell you what are the most common mistakes and pitfalls that you should avoid when doing object tracking starting from the poor detection quality so you use a poor detection model and of course it's hard to have a good tracking quality first of all you're not able to make the detection of the objects correctly before implementing any object tracking algorithm make sure that you have the most possible accuracy with your model so either improve the detection by improving the data set or if there are newer models implement the newer models so that you can get the best accuracy possible not during the algorithms so the algorithm that i show you they all have different parameters and when you use the default ones consider each scenario is different you have also different frames per second so also that's very important if you have a camera that works with 30 frames per second and a camera that works with 10 that means that the way the tracking reacts it's much different